like everybody. He should do stand-up comedy while he's cooking. He's an executive chef, and he's amazing. Here to create the perfect decadent Mother's Day dessert, a rich creme brulee with fresh blackberries and biscotti. You say that so nice. Thank you. You're elegant. I appreciate it's, that. She sells it well. And you know what? And you make it so nice. Aww. Welcome back. One of our very good friends, executive chef of the Peninsula of Beverly Hills, David Codney. Hello, hello. 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 The round of applause is for you. Right. We're not the only ones excited, as you can see. I'm the stars at the counter have apparently all gathered like the thing. for I'm you. Out. Are you really? We'll yeah. dive in. That's then, right. I've already, I already just, took a the bite. The anticipation started. <laughs> Madison from Hallmark Channel's Good Wit yes. digging in. And my good friend Jolie Fisher from Jolie. Growing Up Fisher here. Yeah. We'll be speaking with you about the Emmys coming up on Sunday. We have Big a lot time. to talk Big about. Time. But first, we have a lot to eat. So you guys dig in with this amazing Ooh, creme brulee. So you perfected this years ago, my this, friend. This is a very funny story. So when I was growing up as a cook, you don't make a lot of money. I know it's shocking. And so <laughs> when your parents send you to culinary school, they expect food. Yes. So the easiest way to thank mom on Mother's Day is creme brulee. So I actually did this for my mom. I think we did like eight different ones, and I served it to her in bed. And she still talks about it. Aww, so it was, it was a bit, yeah, tear. Oh, tier, my gosh. That's my mom right there. That was me when I was 18. Oh, and mom beautiful. came to visit me at work. And this is me now. That's a, that's a couple years ago. I was and a little bit thinner then. Still looks great. <laughs> that was a couple burgers ago, Aww. too. And the kids love it, too. I know your twins absolutely love it. The kids love it. it. If you call it warm ice cream, they're happy. They get to use a blowtorch. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, that was a fruit sushi Aww. night. So that's adorable. It's all, it's all good. you got to get the kids cooking. But let's warm talk about the creme brulee. Well, it, it's, creme brulee is intimidating. It is not intimidating. It sounds... It's a French word, which means I can charge more for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I sound fancy and educated. Yes. <laughs> but the reality is it's not. Really? Okay. Show so egg yolks, it. egg yolks. That's Ooh, it. Right, right. Oh. And then you heat your milk, cream, half and half, whatever you want to use. Half and half is great. If you want to use something else, we're going to use a very technical term called tempering. Yes. What is tempering? It's when you no. pull sure, back. Sure. Sure. What your temper? Just add a little bit. Add a little bit. Whisk. Know. Come on. Whisk. You want me to whisk? Yeah, yeah, so you don't scramble. Like, no, you want to make scramble eggs out of no, it. No, you just whisk. No, this that's why you got to whisk slowly. Right. There you go. Chill out. There you you're go. good. Come you're on. good. <laughs> right? Right? We now we're going good. On. Now you're yeah. going to let it more. out. Right? Yeah. Now they're not going to scramble because yep. you've already tempered them. So you're good? So now they're all fine. Wait, how do you know when we cross the, the non tempering line? When it's like halves, when it's halvesies, when right? That yeah. Right? yeah. When they start to calm down, then you know they're And then you add the rest of the milk. Now, <laughs> when you heat the milk up ahead of time, this helps it cook in the oven, right? So if everything was cold, it would take twice as long. But it doesn't. So now we're bringing up warm. Just like with meat. Just like with just meat. Just Very just good. Like with meat. Very just good. like with meat. You're going to add a little bit of sugar. <laughs> and just like with her. Just, we're going to add a little bit of sugar. You can see, okay, you so can, brown sugar. I use turbido. It's like, um, it's basically white sugar, but it doesn't have the molasses yeah. extracted. In the it, right? raw. Yeah, sugar in the raw. It's good okay. for you. Okay, so then this is what makes this part crazy. Are you ready? Yeah. So when you're at the liquor store, uh -oh. you yeah, go to the airplane liquor bottles, right? <laughs> right? Because I never use a whole ton of cassis, so I always buy the small flavoring ones, like the airplane liquor ones, right? But why cassis? Because it's got good berry flavor to it. It's like uh, it's cassis. It's what good. Is it? it makes it fancy. Yeah. Cassis. It's, a, it's, it's a liqueur. Like a, it's a liqueur. It's a fruit liqueur. It tastes like cassis. Black currant. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, exactly. It's a fruit liqueur. I mean, ah, these questions. We're going to add a little bit of this, right, to flavor it up. So this is not your typical creme brulee. This no, it's a cassis creme brulee. <laughs> I mean, what? this is so confusing. I mean, honestly. Okay, you said this was easy. Let's move this over right. here. Okay, you're good. You've stirred. Okay. okay. Then you. you take a one vanilla bean, oh. right? Oh. This is fancy. That's a vanilla now. This <laughs> is, right? There's the flat <laughs> end. Yeah. Wow. And there's the curled end. Which end Ooh. do you cut? Which end? Oh, no, why? no, it what? doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> Slide it down, right? So it makes it flat. You're going to cut this bad boy in half, right? And then you cut it down the middle. Wow. I really love the wow. actual vanilla bean specks Ooh. inside of creme brulee. I like to sometimes rub those on my face so it smells like vanilla. It's, it's a fabulous. good kind of facial good lotion facial. that you can use. Yeah. Yes. That's a little joke he yes. made because earlier today I used the vanilla bean as a mustache and had it all over me. It was pretty funny. Yes. So anyway, take the bean, right, and use your whisk. Wow. Mind blown. Stir. Stir. Again. Now, when you buy the airplane bottles of vodka yeah. for many different uses, but yeah. say you're cooking with it, you take the vanilla bean and you add it back to your vodka bottle, and now you have vanilla mm -hmm. extract in a couple weeks. Because that's wow. the extract. Yes. Extracts are alcohol. The flavor is in the shell as well, the hole. Isn't that interesting? The in bottle yeah. wouldn't make it past that <laughs> for me. Oh, the I bottles. These extract. bottles. I made homemade extract on the show. Did you? Yeah, a few oh, months ago. Well, how come I wasn't invited for that one? <laughs> well, you know why? Because you never leave the kitchen when sure, I'm at Sure, back to the creme brulee. Yeah. So we're going to take some <laughs> of these guys I'm at the restaurant, right he says he's not there. He's there. 
<coughs> yeah, this is right. an ongoing thing with us. Here, you're going to take some berries and put them inside. You're good. Oh, inside here, yeah, yeah. in the ramekins. So, oh, and so then it's what we like do, a little surprise. We take some yeah. biscotti, <laughs> and because my children help me carry groceries home, I have a bunch of broken biscottis if I ever buy oh. them. Oh. Right? So what do you do with broken biscotti? Put them in the you creme put them in creme brulee. Creme brulee. Mind Woo. blown. But is it going to be... What mushy? is wrong with you? You don't only like Oh, you want more? No, I thought I wasn't... What is wrong with you? There you go. That's good. That's good. Now you're going crazy. Now you're going crazy. Okay, watch. You're in. Right? Wow, all over the place. Perfect. Right. Okay, then you take one of your fancy little ladles here. Oh, look at Watch that. Watch this. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Stir them up. Right. See all that foam? You don't that's want the foam. Beautiful. Really? How come? Uh, the foam will cause a layer on the top that's like, um, it'll it'll bake, but it has air pockets inside. But aren't you going to torch the top anyway? You could torch the top, but this is, you don't want all that foam. Just you want to let it settle. the master. You it's just not right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then you put them inside Stop here. Stop asking questions. You put them inside, right? Okay. So well, we're going to put them in the Pyrex, but we also have to make a beautiful water bath. Water bath. And water bath makes it's like a jacuzzi for your yeah. creme brulee, so it's going to cook yeah. nice and even. You want it to be having a good time while it's in the... Does it get a mani-pedi as well? It, no mani-pedis. But maybe a massage. Do mani Are you done with the biscottis? Um, yeah. Oh, you want some of these? Is that what you're like yeah. That's yeah. the best part. You don't want another creme brulee, you want the biscotti. No, I do. I, I eat it. I eat all of it. Stop yelling at me. You're my I will say, Jeez. one of... Where do you find these people? Uh, one of the best things you have ever done, I think, I find this to be genius, a way to actually avoid the spillage of the water bath. Nobody likes birds. Come up Sunburns with, aren't cool. No. Right? So you what do you do? You take idea. the beautiful creme brulee, you open your oven, right? You put it down here at your temperature, and you take your hot water that's already boiled, wow. and you pour it on the inside. As opposed Why? To because safety no never takes a holiday. <gasps> no. Safety first. Wow. Brilliant. Brilliant. And how far up do you do you make the water? Uh, you can go halfsies, halfway. Okay. Halfway. And then when you pull it out, you can gently pull it out or pull them out single. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it's you brilliant. Bake this up, so how long is go. that going to be in there for? Like a half hour. Half hour. Half hour. Okay, right. then we take it out and the fun begins. That's why then I we take it out and the fun begins. Oh, no. And this is where the craziness goes. This is where the fun begins. Let me move on. Okay, all so this. then you take your sugar and you take your magical blowtorch. Oh. Sugar in the raw, yes. <laughs> oh, is this just white sugar, yeah, not sugar in the raw? Yeah. Kids at home. Yeah. Kids at home, this is the best part. Please. Oh. So you pour sugar on top. Get your now look, torch. you're dusting, right? You're not you're not mounding. And you can add this in layers. So what happens if it gets burnt? Isn't it a little bit small? Um, um, wow. Um, wow. Isn't it a bit bigger than a normal? Um, well, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> right? Oh my so when God. it gets to this part, see how it's getting dark? You're just going to add a little more sugar. Now, could you use sugar in the raw? You could use sugar in the raw. It's just um, sugar in the raw is going to burn a little bit quicker than regular sugar. Okay, Makes so we're going to do a few layers. Oh. Yeah. Why did you back up? Like, I'm going to burn. I, I, I mean. Look, so the farther away you go, the, it's going to melt. The quicker you go, it's going to burn it, right? Oh, we're kind of doing in between. In halfsies, oh. in betweenies. In between. yeah, nice, soft, gentle touch there, kid. Yeah, soft, gentle touch. Beautiful. You're not rushing it. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. Blow oh, torch. there it goes. That's where the Ooh. relay part is happening. There we go. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. So you really want that caramelized Because you want the crunch layer. layer on top of the entire thing. You want your, your crunch layer. Do you want me to keep going? We're good. Blow on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you make a wish? <laughs> it's like a candle. Yeah. Here. No. Then they're going to be a little bit warm. Put them out right here. Do you serve Garnish with, with some anything? berries. Some Put a biscotti berries. on top. Yeah, Look like a professional. Mm -hmm. And then carry this up to uh, mom for Mother's Day, and you're golden. You know, you know this is good when you have two actresses I know. who are eating theirs mm -hmm. and Kim. They're eating them like. But I'm about to take her. Scotty was the hit. No, 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 we are not. Did you? About did you make right me now. a fresh one? Whatever, Bailey. Do you have a third one for me? Oh. She's eating you like a truck driver I, at a buffet. I, I right. love you so much. <laughs> I truck driver. Love goodness. So good. Do, wait, you have to taste it too, David. I don't. I have a spoon right here. Look at this. Oh, by the look at that. All right, get in there. Full recipes available at Hallmark Channel. Channel.com. I'm not sure what just happened. Yeah. Um, but mm. David says uh, visit him online. Okay. Uh, if you're in town, go to the peninsula. He's absolutely fantastic. Is it there?